Hello YouTube, this video is going to be about the controversy at Ave Maria University in South Florida and their recent um, honoring of Tom Golisano by naming a field house after him. That's a building on campus that is going to be built uh, based on a four million dollar donation that they received from Mr. Golisano. The controversy is over the fact that Golisano has a history of um, being pro-abortion, pro-choice, and a lot of activities associated with that. So I want to review all the evidence here and let you kind of decide um, based on that evidence. The first thing we want to look at is um, from the Cardinal Newman Society. Okay, they just put out this statement, um, you know, statement regarding the Galasano Fieldhouse at Ave Maria uh, University, and I'll post all of these links and there's several of them. Um, under more information, I recommend that you read the, you know, the whole statement. I don't have time to do it. But you can see you know, what Cardinal Newman Society said was um, that there were problems here. Uh, nevertheless, um, Ave Maria University's decision to honor Mr. Galasano does at least give the appearance of uh, violating the bishop's 2004 policy, which for committed Catholic universities should be a concern and perhaps also, in fact, um, what policy was that that they were talking about? Well, this is the famous policy that Notre Dame got in trouble with. Um, the Catholic community and Catholic institutions uh, should not honor those who act in defiance of our fundamental moral principles. Uh, they should not be given awards, honors, or platforms which would suggest support for their actions. Um, and. Cardinal Newman Society obviously thinks that there is a very good chance that that's exactly what's happening at Ave Maria University. Uh, they, that, uh, the Cardinal Newman Society cites a New York Times piece, and they link to it here, uh, the Democrats get a big gift for Denver. This is in 2008. Okay, Tom Galasano, the Rochester billionaire and registered Republican, donated one million dollars on Friday to the host committee of the Democratic Party's convention in Denver, making him one of the largest donors to the planning efforts surrounding the expected coronation of Barack Obama as the party's nominee next week. Well, what is the Democratic Party all about? Well, we look at the 2008 Democratic National Platform, and in that platform called Renewing America's Promise, we can read this. Uh, the Democratic party strongly and unequivocally sports Roe v. Wade and a woman's right to choose a safe and legal abortion, regardless of ability to, to pay, and we oppose any and all efforts to weaken or undermine that right, and that's on page 50 of that uh, platform. Uh, next we see um, Tom Golisano at the Clinton Foundation. This is President Bill Clinton, the William J. Clinton Foundation, and on his website we can see contributor information and here listed uh, in the ten million dollar to twenty five million dollar category is Tom Galasano also note Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation so he gave a lot of money to the Clinton Foundation okay we next go to the Clinton Global Initiative which is associated with the Clinton Foundation and under the a title called founding sponsor we see Tom Galasano also notice Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation as well. Uh, so he's the founding sponsor of the Clinton Global Initiative. Well, who's associated with the Clinton Global Initiative? Well, here's one example, and gender health. Uh, and on their website, they list this uh, picture here where the president of Engender Health is with Bill Clinton at the Clinton Global Initiative. And uh, we go further in their website, and we see that they have an advocacy and policy statement and they list all of the things that they're kind of associated with. But down at the bottom here, they list examples of our recent advocacy and policy activities. Campaigning to overturn what they call the global gag rule. Um, documenting the harmful impact of the Mexico City policy, or the global gag rule. And uh, they made a YouTube video about this. Um, so they're very active in trying to overturn this uh, pro-life um, policy of the United States that was at first enacted by President uh, Reagan and uh, it was canceled by President Clinton then reenacted by Bush and you know back and forth and Obama just just canceled uh, the policy so uh, and gender health is uh, actively working 
against uh, pro-life by going against the Mexico City policy. Uh, let's take a look at their YouTube video real quick. All right, that's enough. Um, you know, we can see that uh, and gender health is very active in the pro-choice uh, arena. Here's another YouTube video. We'll take a look at that. You've also been involved with the Clinton Global Initiative. Tell us what that's all about. Uh, the Clinton Global Initiative is a, is a very uh, significant thing that's going on in this world. Not this country, but in this world. Bill Clinton came up with the idea of bringing together in a conference forum for over three days a group of NGOs, non-government organizations that do all kinds of uh, quality charitable work around the world, focusing in areas like health, education, global warming, uh, uh, transparency of government, very key important issues worldwide. And what Bill Clinton did was bring these organizations together with a whole group of contributors and heads of state. Okay, and they, we hold a three-day conference in uh, New York City. And the four conferences that have been held over the past four years, Bill Clinton has raised over $24 billion worth of goods, services, and cash that are distributed around the world. The great thing about it is the organization making the contribution, for example, Walmart, works directly with the NGO. It doesn't go through a centralized organization. He's very good at getting commitments, and he's very good at having people uh, uh, make their commitment. Uh, very worthwhile. I'm very proud. I'm the primary sponsor of it. I'm, I'm very proud of it. Okay, so that's uh, Tom Galasano in his own words, being very proud of being the sponsor to the Clinton Global Initiative. Okay, also at the Clinton Global Initiative, we see the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, and here's on their website where they donated uh, $14 million to the International Planned Parenthood Federation. Okay, um, that is a cesspool of global abortion and contraception services. So the Clinton Foundation is really bad news. Okay, uh, other things. Tom Galasano has his own political action committee. And that PAC, which uses Tom Galasano's own money, supported 50 politicians, and here's a list of them, that were also supported by NARAL. Okay, now I checked some of this by going to uh, the NARAL web website here, and you can download um, the uh, a PDF of their uh, contributions for 2008. Okay, and you can back check that if you go to the uh, state of uh, the campaign finance disclosure provided by the New York State Board of Elections, and you look at Responsible New York, which is Tom Galasano's PAC. Okay, and you come here and you look at um, um, the uh, you know, you download this, you can you can see and cross-link the two, you know, who he supported versus who NARAL supported. Okay, and finally, um, there's an argument that, that says, well, you know, a AMU put out a press release that said Tom Golisano assured them that he's pro-life. Okay, what does that mean? Well, you know, he, we, there's an article by a National Review Online which um, I'll reprint here. Okay, the failure of the New York Right to Life Party to gain 50,000 votes this past election cycle has been blamed on Tom Galasano, the independent candidate for governor. Shortly before the election, he sent out pamphlets explaining that he was against partial birth abortion and federal funding of abortion. Okay, so that's what's cited as, um, as evidence that he's pro-life, but that's exactly what uh, sent, uh, Joe Biden says. Here's an article on the um, National Right to Life uh, website, and it talks about how Joe Biden is also against partial birth abortion, and he's also um, against um, federal funding of abortion. Okay, but that doesn't make him pro-life. You know, as, the, as this website correctly points out, Senator Biden uh, is a strong supporter of the Supreme Court's Roe v. Wade ruling. Uh, so just because someone you know, is against partial birth abortion doesn't mean that he's pro-life. It just means that he's not 100% pro-abortion. So those are the facts. May God bless us all.